an update of a previously made video of mine which is all about navigating Google Classroom for students. However, teachers might find this really helpful as well just so that they know what students are looking at and not just what they're looking at on their screen. So here we go. When you open up Google Classroom, you will notice that all your classes will be listed here. If you need to join a new class, click on the plus at the top and you can join a class. You'll need to put in the class code that your teacher provides for you and when you do that you'll be able to click the join button and then all your classes will be here. When you open your class you'll notice there are three tabs across the top. The stream which is basically all the announcements that your teacher may make uh, as well as any notifications of assignments posted. But the best place to find all your assignments and work is under the classwork tab. In the classwork tab you will see all the tasks that are organized in terms of uh, topic if your teacher has organized it. Also you'll have a link to other things like your class drive folder, your Google Calendar so you can see when things are due and you can also click here to view all your work in a snapshot. So this shows me what is due for me at the moment. Going back to my class, going back to classwork, let's have a look at some of these assignments that I have. So the first demo assignment here we have an attachment already. First thing you do though is you go into view assignment and then it shows everything attached to it. There may be other attachments here as well like a link to a video or um, a website or something like that. It could be a number of things here. But here we have a worksheet that is attached for me to work on. So when I click and open it, it'll open that attachment in a new page and it's a Google Doc. So in this particular example, I've been asked to complete the task by filling out some answers here and here. So I would complete my work and then when I'm finished, I can either click on the turn in button here or I can come back to my assignment in classroom and that should be all finished and I can click on the turn in button and turn it in. Let's go back to classroom, back to classwork again. Oh, you'll notice also that the assignments that are handed in get greyed out so you can quickly see which ones you've done and which ones you haven't done. So in the second one, this one doesn't have any attachments but when I click on view assignment In this example the teacher wants the student to add work here and submit when finished. So we go over to your work, we click on add or create and our options are we can add work from our Google Drive folder or a link from another website or a file on our computer or they may want us to create a new Google document or a Google slideshow or a Google sheet spreadsheet or maybe even a Google drawing depending on what needs to be done. So if your teacher asks you to create a new document in your Google Classroom assignment this may be where they're asking you to do that. So I can go in and create that and when I've created it uh, it will appear here and it's already attached to the assignment. I can then go in and open it, complete the work on the document or whatever it is and then I don't have to attach it again. It's already attached so I don't have to email it to my teacher. I don't have to click on the share button in the document to share it. I just need to hand in the assignment. The third tab in Google Classroom is just people and that just shows me the teachers and the other students and as you can see there's none because this is just a demonstration. Hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.